Yeah. President Trump declaring a national emergency over coronavirus in order to ex expedite relief, aid, and testing to states. Nearly 3,000 cases in 49 states, so far West Virginia, is the only state not reporting any cases of COVID-19. At least 57 Americans have died as the House passes a bipartisan aid package to ease the economic fallout. Joining me right now is Congressman Devin Nunes. He is ranking member of the House Intel Committee. He's also a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. And Congressman, it's good to have you this morning. Great to be with you, Maria. Thank I want, you. I want to get into really your investigation into China, which goes back years, which you've, I, you and I have spoken about in the past. But first, give us your take on uh, the, the administration's response to coronavirus. Well, most importantly, I think what American people have to understand is we need to stop panicking here. OK, there's no there's no shortage of food in this country. Uh, people don't need to go to the store and fight over a bottled water or toilet paper. Uh, I come from the bread basket of the world right here in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, we want people to go out and buy food, but there's no shortage of food. The, the main thing that people need to focus on, it, it's, it's just a couple issues. Number one, if you're sick at all, be smart. Stay away from people. Number two, if you know someone that is senior or, or if you have an underlying health condition, especially with your lungs, you are at high risk. So we need to focus all of our energy on our senior population with underlying health concerns. There is no reason, Maria, for the American people to be running uh, to the grocery store to buy 27 packs of, of toilet paper. Okay, there's no shortage of toilet paper, no shortage, no shortage of food. OK, and that's yeah. coming from someone who we want you to buy food. OK, right. right. I understand. And, and I'll just say this, too. I, I'll just say this, too. Uh, you know, we were just talking about the economy mm. and, and there's a lot of concerns with the economy here because people are scared to go out. Uh, but I will just say one of the things you can do if you're healthy, uh, you and your family, it's a great time to just go out, go to a local restaurant. Yeah. Likely you can get in, get in easily. There's you know, let's not hurt. Uh, the working people in this country that are relying on wages and tips to keep their small business going. You know, going. we're very so sympathetic. Don't run to the, don't run to the. Understood. Yeah, just don't run to the grocery store and buy, buy, you know, $4,000 of food. Right, they're cleaning go, off the you know, shelves. Go to your local, uh, local pub. We want yeah. to be very sympathetic to what's going on, particularly because it started in Wuhan, China. But why is it that so many of these diseases, these sicknesses originate in China? What, what is the issue there? Well, as you know, we've been looking at China for, for a very long time, the Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee. And we're actually building legislation now that's based off of our investigation that we've been conducting for a while. So look, the Chinese, they're a communist dictatorship. And I would just say it's probably as easy as this to understand. You know, they're inefficient, okay? They can, they can you know, they have people that, you know, are under authoritarian control. Think about it. The doctor that actually was the whistleblower on this ended up dead. Yeah. Okay. And if you look back to what the Chinese did, you know, back in, they probably had this in, in the late fall, yeah. especially early winter. Uh, they didn't, you know, instead of like calling people in and learning how to help and, de and develop a, a way for us to know how to treat this, they downplayed it.